What up, YouTube? It's Dave Medic One. I have another uh, knife review for you today. Um, been waiting for this in the mail, and uh, I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube uh, about this knife company, and I was very interested and intrigued by it. Uh, uh, Jeff, uh, aka Top Thumbs, he did a review on one of their knives and um, uh, one of their folders. They only have I think they only have like two other folders, maybe three other folders in their lineup. Uh, but it's uh, a knife from Bad Blood Knives, and uh, Bad Blood Knives is a com it's a uh, it's Sean uh, it's Sean Kendrick's knife company or knife designs going through Hallmark Knives, and uh, they're they're really nice. I was very intrigued by it, uh, especially after Jeff or Tough Thumbs. Uh, really gave it a positive review. There is another YouTuber out there that also gave it a positive review. Um, kind of the spark on the Bad Blood Knives kind of started to be more evident on YouTube after the 2012 Knife Show. Um, so apparently, um, I imagine uh, Sean Kendrick had a really good showing there. So, uh, so here it is. Uh, this model here is called the Fire Splitter, and uh, it's it's a really nice knife. I've been on this. Um, I'm, it, if you guys watch my channel, you know I'm kind of favorable to the flippers, and I kind of like more of the larger knives. And uh, this kind of fits uh, this fits my style perfectly. Um, I got this knife here. Uh, I believe I got it for I found it on the TaxStrike.com website for $39.95. Now before it was listed for $54.95. Um, and I was going to get it regardless of the price uh, of the fifty four ninety five. And when I went back, when I had the money to get it, I found that it was on sale. So it's thirty nine ninety five from a website called Tax Strike T A C S T R I K E dot com. Uh, again, it's, it's uh, Sean Kendrick Bad Blood Knives, and this is the Fire Splitter uh, Flipper design. As you can see here, it is a pretty large knife, um, very heavy. Uh, some may EDC it. I would EDC it. I've been EDCing it for the last two days, but some people may may think it's a little bit too big. Um, it definitely has some weight behind it. Um, so some of you may not consider this a um, EDC uh, type carry. Uh, but this knife is was intended to be to fill a tactical role, um, and there's definitely hints of it in the blade design. Um, first off, uh, this knife here is. Uh, we're looking at 19 and a quarter inches, uh, the complete length on it. Uh, we have G10 scales. Uh, pocket clip is right hand only tip up carry. Uh, the texture on the G10 is is actually really nice. It's not, it is grippy, uh, but it's not too aggressive. And as far as ergonomics go, it actually fits really well in your hand. Uh, the jimping here is mild but not too mild where you're slipping on there. You can get the, uh, a hell of a grip on this, no problem. As you can see there, jipping goes all the way back into the spine here, which is kind of something you don't really see uh, too often. This blade carries into the handle quite a bit. Uh, there is a little uh, down swoop in the top there. Um, as far as uh, grip or whatnot, maybe I don't really uh, see it being held like that, maybe if you were kind of doing some uh, minor, uh, like small type cutting chores or tasks, that would work well. Um, but if anything, it adds aesthetically to the shape of the blade and definitely makes this a little different than what you normally see out there. Um, as far as the blade steel goes, it's an SCR 14 stainless steel. Um, I'm not I don't know anything about this steel, so any of you guys that are familiar with that, please comment below or let me know. Uh, I haven't really dug into as far as um, what that steel is about, how hard, you know, the durability, edge retention, and all those little characteristics on that. Um, definitely new to me. This is the first knife I'm going to be owning with the uh, SCR14 stainless steel. Um, it is a pretty, it's like a hollow ground, um, and it's about an inch or so up on the blade. Uh, the, it swoops up here, and then there's a swedge up top 
And the cool, the, the re, this is one of the things that can, you can definitely tell it's got, uh, it was designed for uh, tactical capabilities or self-defense because the sledge on the top, if you look at it, it's very thin across the top here. Very, very thin. Like almost, it's a little bit thicker than, than you would have a blade uh, profile to before you send it to heat treat. So, I mean, just... I mean, I could put this in three minutes on a grinder to sharpen the top of this and have a razor sharp. I mean, that's how um, uh, skinny this is up top, and it, it's it's got a hollow it's got a hollow ground uh, uh, profile to that also on the top. Uh, it's definitely meant uh, for piercing for sure. On that, the thickness of this blade definitely adds a lot of strength and a very and very rigid solid construction uh, uh, feel to this knife. You hold it and it feels very well made. Uh, pretty darn solid. Uh, fit and finish on this, uh, it, it's pretty decent. Um, uh, minor, I mean, if you're very, very super, super particular, uh, you will you could notice maybe a little imperfection here and there, but it's just maybe a slight, uh, like here as far as the taper on the G10, it's a hair off here, not much at all. Uh, and that's the only thing I really found on this. Um, it is a flipper. Initially getting this blade, I had to adjust the pivot a bit to get the action to ease up. It came completely, uh, it came centered pretty nicely. Um, I had, when I loosened this pivot up to ease up the action, it caused the blade to go a little bit off-centered. Uh, but usually when I do that on my knives and I play with them for a while, uh, once, some, once the uh, washers break in, it becomes a little too loose and have to retighten the pivot and that corrects maybe the off-centeredness of the blade. Um, it's just a simply so it makes it easier to deploy and makes it easier to break in uh, break in the uh, the washers there. Uh, it is a liner lock. Uh, the lock up on it, I don't know if you can see there, is pretty darn early um, and it's pretty solid. Uh, this liner lock unfortunately is not skeletonized which is a good reason why this knife weighs so much and uh, uh, pr that's pretty much it. I mean, uh, for uh, the thirty, uh, for the forty dollars, it, it's pretty, it's pretty reasonably priced. Um, can you get a better knife for forty bucks? Uh, maybe, but you would really have to try. You'd really have to try. I mean, uh, that's how impressed I am with this knife. Uh, the logo, Bad Blood logo with the screaming skull, uh, is pretty dope. Um, it's got a B blast finished on the blade. Um, and it's really, really, really nice. Um, Hallmark, uh, Hallmark stainless steel or Hallmark cutlery stainless steel marking right there. Um, pocket clip, pretty good retention on the pocket clip. A little stiff in the beginning, uh, but you can slip it in and out of your pocket without having to kill yourself. Sometimes you get these knives where the pocket clip is so stiff that you can't even. It's like you have to bend them back and do some minor adjustments so you can even need to see it. Um, but as far as the tolerances go on this knife. Uh, it's pretty nice. It's a. Uh, I would, uh, if you guys get a chance, definitely uh, check out uh, the Bad Blood knives. Uh, Sean Kendrick's got a pretty decent design, uh, and you know, and I like them. Um, and from what I've heard, the other two YouTubers that I know have the have the they're actually Sean Kendrick custom and the production knives. Uh, said they're very happy with them. So, and I'm pretty happy with mine. Although it is taking me a little bit to get this. Uh, to get the washers broken in, uh, but you are to expect that because of the, the weight of the blade and how heavy it is. Uh, but the cool thing about it is the flipper is rather pronounced uh, on this knife, and it's probably to ease the deployment on that. Uh, some people may not like it because of how much real estate it will take in your pocket, uh, but I've been EDCing it for like two or three days and haven't noticed a thing with that, but I am used to carrying larger knives. So, um, you know, some may have noticed it more than others, but uh, here you go, guys. We'll just give you a pretty good look at this. It's, uh, I really like this knife a lot. I've just been on this uh, big knife trip uh, lately, actually for a long time now, and, um, and this has really kind of quenched my knife thirst or appetite so it was definitely for me I felt it was well worth the forty dollars and uh, I really was in, uh, 
anxious to do this review for you guys and let you th check this out for yourselves. Um, definitely get, uh, go ahead and take time out to check them out for sure. They um, on this in the Bad Blood line. What you tax uh, tax strike? Unfortunately, is one of the very few people that will carry. I think Knife Center may have them also. I noticed. Um, I think I actually saw it for thirty four. Somewhere, what I would suggest, guys, and this is what I do too, is when I find a knife that I'm interested in, I will go to the Google Google search, uh, type in uh, the Mega model, and then hit the shopping, and then look around for websites that have it for the cheapest price, and click on there, um, and just make sure that you click on the knife on the website and go through and go all the way through into the shopping cart to make sure that the price stays the same. Because a lot of times when they have them listed, they'll have them at a cheap price, and Google will say, hey, this is included in shipping, and then when you get to the website and you go to the shopping cart, bam, there goes your the $7.99 for shipping on a knife that, you know, should be only $4 to be shipped anyway, and you'll find out that it'll, there was other options that were cheaper than that, so definitely do some research on that, but if you um, if you Google search it, TaxStrike.com has them for sure, that's why I bought mine, uh, but I think it's either Knife, uh, Knife Center or Blade HQ, one of the two that have that. Um, Another knife you may want to consider in line if you're not into uh, flippers is the Harbinger CC, which is also $39.95, also on Tax Strike now, right now. And that is the one that Jeff, uh, aka Tough Thumbs, did the uh, review on, and it's got the thumb stud. Uh, the handle is shaped slightly different. Um, the grooves in the G10 are a little different, uh, but as far as the general blade shape, um, I believe it's similar uh, to that. The girth of the blade is similar to that, and the weight is probably going to be the same. Maybe a little lighter because you don't have this mammoth uh, flipper on that. You'll just have thumb studs. But um, as you can see, it's a pain in the ass to deploy because of the you know because of the weight of the knife. Uh, just to give you an idea here, you know. But you're, the, I mean, it's not really a fair comparison here because you're dealing with the uh, the Canonian Foresight with the IKBS bearing system, so this is gonna, you can, this is gonna deploy quicker than all get out because of that bearing system. It's just designed to be fast, and well, it's the difference between a $90 knife and a $40 knife. So there you go. The Enron is a little bit easier to deploy, also, uh, but the big, the main difference on that is this blade is about a millimeter thinner um, than that blade. And it doesn't sound, one millimeter doesn't sound like much, but when you're talking about a blade that's about four and a quarter inches long, um, and you got a millimeter girth all the way down the way, then it does add uh, to the weight. So, um, but yeah, guys, that's my review on this. Uh, check them out. If you got, you know, if you guys are shopping around for a knife and, you know, you're doing the 40 to $60 range, it's not a, uh, definitely consider it. Take a look at it. Look on YouTube for reviews on this. And, um, and it, don't uh, don't count it out. It's if you like if you like larger knives, you don't mind you seeing something bigger. Um, it is a tactical knife. Uh, it's different than what you normally see out there. You can't say this looks like something else or reminds you of something else. I mean, I can't anyway. Um, but um, I definitely recommend it. So guys, uh, thanks again for taking time out to uh, check out this review. Um, comment please uh, if you know anything about the steel. Um, or any kind of specifics on that I'd like to know. I'm going to do a little research myself. Um, and, uh, and uh, yeah, just, uh, you know, you guys have been subscribing. I really appreciate it. Post your comments below. As always, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Peace.